What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. Today we're going to focus in on the Masterton Trophy nominations and why Joffrey Lupo of the Toronto Maple Leafs should win it going away. Uh, right off the bat, you know, three pretty good nominees. I don't understand why Alfredson's there. He had a bad injury play the year last year. He's getting a little bit older, and he had a great offensive year this year. But it's really not a comeback player of the year, and I don't mean to slight Alfredson or the Auto Senators in any way, shape, or form. But, uh, you know, look what Max Pacioretty came back from. You know, that devastating hit by Zidane Chara. Um, and then had a career year offensively, really. Became the first American ever scored 30 goals for Lace Habs. So that's something, something intriguing to think about. And, uh, you know, it was dominant offensively. And you look at what Lupo did. Lupo had a career year. Lupo was, you know, the fourth pick in the draft in 2002. And he's projected to be an offensive superstar. Never really achieved that in stops with Anaheim, Edmonton, uh, Philly, and uh, that's it. Two cents in Anaheim, though. And, uh, you know, you look at what he's done in Toronto. He, you know, he averaged better than a point a game uh, playing with Castle, and he really showed why he's such a high pick. He also, I don't know if you guys know, he missed a full season. Um, you know, he missed 82 games between two years. So, uh, with a back injury that got infected and, you know, put his hockey career in jeopardy. And then he got traded to Toronto and really just got, really hit his stride offensively. You know, he's a guy that... Uh, Got kind of got a bad rap in Anaheim and Philly, and I uh, really did everything in his power to dispel those, you know, those notions. And he's really a great player. Uh, you know, I think he's a, a testament to the game. You know, fortitude overcoming adversity. You know, when your hockey career is in jeopardy a year ago, or you know, a year and a half, two years ago, and then you have a career year offensively. Yeah, I, he got hurt down the stretch, and I really I think doomed Toronto's uh, playoff hopes. But uh, you know, I hope really that he, he wins this. You know, I think it's a uh, great thing for hockey. You know, the, the kid from Fort Saskatchewan, Alberta. Uh, winning the Masterton Trophy, and, you know, it's for uh, sportsmanship, perseverance, and dedication to the game of hockey. And what better way to do that? You know, what better way to dedicate yourself to the game of hockey than come back off a devastating injury and subsequent infection and uh, put up a career year and uh, hopefully bring the Toronto Maple Leafs back to viability for fans in that market. You know, they've suffered long enough, and uh, hopefully with guys like Luke on the fold, Brian Burke and the boys can continue to build a uh, consistent winner in Toronto and, uh, you know, maybe make that Stanley Cup pipe dream a reality. Who knows? But uh, you know, I got to tip you hat. You got to tip you hat to Louisville, whether you like the Leafs or don't. For what he over, what he overcame, and uh, you know how he got to the level of play he's playing at now. Obviously not now. It's, it's playoff time, and uh, there's no playoff fucking Toronto. But you know, it's it's a great thing. You know, I think him Upshaw, uh, then Richards and Carter when they were in Philly got that bad rap as you know potty and too hot and all that. But it's absurd. You know, it's a joke. I think. Uh, if they were potty too high, that's not why you trade someone. You know, you sit them down and you, you give them a pep talk. And you're trading for Chris Pronger twice. You know, think about that. Then he was trading the ultimate fleece, uh, Drake Gardner and him for uh, uh, Francois Bochman. So, talk about a fleece right there. But uh, that's all I got this episode of the Power Play with CJ on why Joffrey Lupo of the Toronto Maple Leafs deserves a Masterton Trophy for sportsmanship, perseverance, and dedication to the game of hockey. Uh, see you guys later.